Crocodiles respond to children's cries. Nile crocodiles respond to the sound of human babies crying, as well as chimpanzee and bonobo cries, new research shows. In experiments, the reptiles seem to respond more strongly to intense crying than to calmer, quiet whimpers. The reaction to crying babies may seem natural to us. This also happens in the animal world, but sometimes in a different way than we would expect. Recently, it was discovered that crocodiles respond to the cries of human infants, as well as young chimpanzees and bonobos. It's just not entirely clear whether this reaction is due to the hope of easy prey, or whether it is caused by something else, such as mistaking the cry of babies for the calls of young crocodiles. The description and results of the research were published in the journal Proceedings of the Royal Society B. Biological Sciences. Behind the research is a team of bioacoustics from the University of Saint-Étienne in collaboration with researchers from the University of Lyon. They observed Nile crocodiles, Crocodilus niloticus, and noticed that they actually respond to the cries of mammalian babies, including humans. They conducted their research in the Croco Park located in the Moroccan city of Agadir, where about 300 crocodiles live. In it, they have the ability to move freely and behave in almost the same way as if they lived in the wild. Previously, it was found that crocodiles react to the sounds of anxiety of other animals, their potential victims. Typically, in such situations, they headed towards the source of the sound, simply counting on the possibility of food. This time, however, the researchers wanted to study their reactions to sounds made by children, which are not necessarily on their menu. For this purpose, the necessary recordings of children, representatives of different species, humans, chimpanzees and bonobo monkeys, were collected to varying degrees of stress. For humans, the recordings included the less intense cries of newborns in their homes while bathing, as well as the screams made in the doctor's office at the time of their injections. Loudspeakers were set up in the park and previously prepared recordings were played, and the reaction of the crocodiles hearing them was recorded. First of all, it was noticed that the change in the behavior of the observed reptiles occurred almost immediately after they heard the cry. Interestingly, their reactions were stronger the more intense the crying. This was especially the case when violent crying could suggest that the cubs were in great danger. In this context, it was noted that crocodiles were especially attracted to louder, higher frequency sounds and those with some irregularity. In both cases, the sounds indicated a high level of stress. Extremely interesting in the above context was the reaction of one of the crocodiles. It was probably a female.
Well, immediately after hearing the sounds played, she went to the loudspeaker and then suddenly turned around and turned towards the other crocodiles. Scientists analyzing this situation suggest that it could have been an analogous reaction to that of mothers who want to protect their children from danger. Researchers have created fish with the alligator gene. A team of scientists from Auburn University used the CRISPR gene editing technique to introduce the alligator gene into fish. The added gene plays a role in the innate immune response, making breeding catfish more resistant and protecting them against a variety of pathogens, including bacteria and viruses. A group of researchers used the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing system to introduce a special gene to farmed catfish that helps the alligators fight infection. Catfish is a prized delicacy in many parts of the world, which is why it is in high demand. This situation favors the creation of water farms where these fish are bred, but their productivity is low. All because of the high infection rate. Currently, only about 55% survive on farms. Farmed fish populations. The results and description of the research were published in an article in the BioRxiv preprint database. Improving the efficiency of catfish farms would significantly increase the profits from breeding. Therefore, scientists decided to tackle the problem. They looked for help in alligators specifically in their genome we know from previous research that alligators have a special gene that codes for a protein called catholicidin this important protein has primarily protective functions it is a natural antibiotic and kills a wide range of microbes Alligators need catholicidin, among other things, to fight infections from wounds they get when fighting with other members of their species. A team from Alabama set out to see what happens when a gene from alligators is added to fish. To find out, the researchers used CRISPR, Cas9, a genetic engineering method that allows the manipulation of the genome of organisms. They inserted the alligator gene into the catfish's genome, where fish reproduce. In this way, the catfish became sterile, which prevents them from reproducing in the wild if one of them escaped from its enclosure as this could have serious consequences. Tests have confirmed the effectiveness of this protective method. The modified catfish had a survival rate of up to 400%, higher than fish without changes in the genome. However, Further testing is needed to see if other undesirable changes occur in the catfish as a result of the manipulation of the genome. It may also prove difficult to convince consumers to accept genetically modified catfish on their table.